In this video I'll be giving you 7 tips to get the best performance out of your laptop that is running Windows 11. For demonstration purposes I'll be using the ASUS RG Zafras M16 that is running the Windows 11. Please note that these tips are not just for Windows 11, they can also work on older version of Windows. Timestamps to everything that I talk about in this video will be in the description. So if you see something that sparks your interest, feel free to check it out. Tip number one is cleaning your laptop. Yeah, as simple as this sound, this will make a difference to your laptop performance. Computers can be a vacuum for dust, especially gaming laptops. Cleaning your laptop from time to time will prevent dust from getting stuck inside, which can lead to airflow being blocked and overheating your laptop. This would lead to less performance from your laptop. So try to clean your laptop more often. Also, using a laptop in a clean environment will also help to keep it free from dust. So using an air purifier will help. Tip number two is using a laptop on the right surface. Personally, at first, I never thought it would matter where you place your laptop. So I used to place my laptop on my bed and use it there. Also, even though it's called a laptop, it doesn't mean using it on your lap will give you the best performance. Placing your laptop on your bed or on your lap while using it will block the airflow and blocking the airflow will cause your laptop to overeat and lower your performance. To avoid this, place your laptop on a flat surface and make sure it has enough room for the proper airflow. If you want to get the best possible airflow, you can also go ahead and get yourself a laptop stand like I did. I got this really cheap laptop stand off Amazon. Doing this will improve your performance by far. Tip number 3 is plugging in your laptop while you are using it. You should plug in your laptop while you are using it to get the best possible performance. You will not get the best performance from your laptop while you are using it on battery. Also it's bad to use your laptop on battery when you are doing heavy tasks such as video editing and gaming. Because constantly discharging and recharging your battery kills your battery health the more you do this. Alright guys, so you're halfway through the video and since you made it halfway through the video, I'm going to give you a bonus tip. So the bonus tip is opening and closing your laptop the right way. Many times people would say their laptop hinge breaks after 2 years or so and this is because they are not opening and closing their laptop the right way. The right way to open your laptop is to open it from the middle gently. Do not open it from the corners, just take your time and open it from the middle. Open your laptop from the middle would spread out the pressure and save your laptop over time. Back to the tip. So tip number 4 is keeping your laptop up to date. Updating your laptop often is a good practice because updates usually improve and fix existing problems. By default your laptop should update automatically. But if you want to make sure that you are up to date, you can go to the Windows Update tab and check for the latest update just to make sure. You should also check the Microsoft Store to see if there is any applications that need to be up to date such as Xbox Game Bar, Office and other applications that are downloaded through the Microsoft Store. You also need to make sure that you have the latest driver for your graphics card, whether it's the Nvidia or the AMD. In this case, I have the NVIDIA graphics card so I will go to GeForce Experiences and check to make sure I am on the latest driver. The laptop buyers may also have updates every now and then, but not as often as your graphics card and your operating system and your applications. If you are also interested in updating your laptop BIOS, you can follow the manual that comes with your laptop. Speaking of graphics drivers, tip number 5 is to make sure that you are using the right driver. For Nvidia graphics card, you normally have the option to choose between a gaming driver and a studio driver. So if you are more of a content creator who edits videos, pictures, do animation and other stuff like that, then you want to go with the studio driver to get the best performance out of your laptop. On the other hand, if you're a gamer then you want to go with the gamer driver to get the best possible gameplay. Tip number 6. For this tip you have to open up your laptop. If you don't trust yourself enough to open up your laptop then have a professional get it done for you. Most laptops these days come with 2 RAM slot and normally only one of those slots are occupied. Adding an extra RAM in the empty slot will help you to improve your gaming performance and your computer performance overall. Also, note some laptop might only have one memory slot, but sometimes they have a RAM that is soldered into the motherboard, so it's actually two memory slots. Alright guys, so here's the last tip, tip number 7, it is pretty simple. Connecting your laptop to a monitor can be a big performance boost. 
For me, when I use a secondary monitor for my laptop, I feel as if I'm using a powerful desktop because of the extra room I get when I'm video editing or playing games. Even though I have a 16 inch laptop, sometimes it can feel very clustered, especially when I'm editing videos in Premiere Pro. So that secondary monitor really makes a difference. There you have it guys, 7 tips that will boost your laptop performance. Let me know which one of these tips were most helpful to you. Also if you reach this far in the video, leave a thumbs up emoji in the comment section so I know that you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Peace.